a wildlife biologist with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Division of Migratory Birds in the North Atlantic Appalachian region. And we are out here on Nantucket this week upgrading some bird and bat tracking towers that are part of the MODIS wildlife tracking system, which is an international automated radio telemetry network. I'm out here with Todd Alliger from Williston Conservation Trust. <laughs> and this effort's uh, linked up with a project that we have that's focused on tracking birds and bats with automated radio telemetry technology in offshore areas for um, doing science to support offshore wind energy assessments. So the towers that we have at coastal sites like Nantucket are part of a larger array of towers that we're working on building out throughout the Atlantic on uh, monitoring buoys as well as a few different offshore wind turbines. And it's also connected with an effort that Todd has going on in collaboration with uh, Northeast MODIS. That's right. Um, my, uh, my presence here is part of an effort to establish 50 receiving stations throughout the interior of New England. Uh, it's part of a competitive state wildlife grant involving the state of New Hampshire's Maine, Massachusetts wildlife departments, as well as Audubon, Massachusetts Audubon, Hampshire Audubon, Maine Audubon, and the Carnegie Museum of Natural History. Um, our goal is to fill a, a gap in the current MODIS array throughout the interior portion of New England. So it's involving states from Maine all the way down to Connecticut and Rhode Island. And we're creating multiple lines that crisscross that region Tech migrants as they move north and south um, throughout New England. I just want to say thank you, um, Todd, 